off. Stumbling and unseating the rider was my interest. The three is out of the race. Crown Romance begins for the early lead. In between horses is Rising Storm. Crazy Indies parked on their outside third. And then King Wade. And after a terrible start, he went to his nose and unseated the rider. My interest is last of all and not in the race. Meanwhile, the advantage belongs to Crown Romance. He gets a hassle-free time of it through the opening quarter of 22 and 3. Racing in second is Rising Storm. Paco is losing ground with Crazy Indy. Six to five third while trying to mount a charge five lengths off the lead ahead of King Wade. They round the far turn. Crown Romance and Luca Panici strictly the one to beat. They pass the five sixteenths, widening on a four length lead. Rising Storm is second. Crazy Indy's just not interested. He got passed by King Wade. So through a 45 and four half mile, barring something unforeseen, this is Crown Romance. Race to win or lose. He turns for home with a seven or eight length lead. King Wade is now rallied to take second on the outside in Rising Storm with Crazy Indy just playing no role. As the start tells a lot of the story here, Crown Romance left alone up front and pouring it on. Crown Romance for CCF Racing is a wrapped up winner. Crown Romance by eight or nine in the end. Second King Wade, then Rising Storm. And Crazy Indy. Hold all tickets, please. Money trifecta forty dollars and twenty five. Superfected one hundred sixty eight dollars ten cents, sixteen eighty one for a dime. Early double six two, thirty four dollars and twenty.